Hello. Now, um, after uh, t uh, discussing lots of uh, uh, conspiracy stuff with people on YouTube and being being very interested in conspiracy stuff, uh, moon landings and whether rockets work in space, which they don't, um, I've I've actually come across um, the flat Earth uh, theory, and uh, it's a very interesting theory. Um, it's certainly appealing. Um, especially when uh, if you were to uh, walk out into your everyday normal walk of life like you know like when I do and look around look at the, look at the sun in the sky look at the clouds uh, passing over uh, airplanes going high high altitudes going across the sky leaving contrails and you look at all of this and you tend to think to yourself now is, is the earth actually round or is it flat I'm not sure about you and your perception on the world, but I certainly view it really as being flat. To me, it is flat. I look around, the horizon's flat. Everywhere I look, you know, the uh, control lines of aeroplanes are straight. They don't show any curvature on them at all or anything. Uh, you look at the sun's reflection on the setting sun's reflection on the on the on the sea. You know, coming up to the shoreline, it's 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 straight it's you know it doesn't look as if there's any break in it or anything as what one would have think there would be if it was uh, a curved surface and i think one one of the big things is how i can't um, i can't for the life of me understand how all this water that uh, covers like 80 percent of the earth's surface is able to stay on a whole entire globe without just you know just falling down to the bottom you know, water is a very buoyant material, and uh, you know, I I can I can uh, jump up and down. You know, I'm f I can free myself from gravity. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, with all that volume of water, why can't that do the same? But uh, you know, I'm not a I'm not really a scientist to be able to uh, um, fathom that one out. You know, I just use common sense, and I think common sense is some something that's not common after all. I think if you've got common sense, you're uh, you're definitely uh, what's the word um, unique. But anyway, um, after coming across the flat Earth and discussing the flat Earth, watching a few videos on YouTube, very interesting videos. I came across uh, Eratosthenes. Now, Eratosthenes uh, was a Greek mathematician, geographer, way back uh, uh, two seven six uh, one nine five. 194 BC, so he was he was quite uh, quite quite a, you know an ancient kind of guy, uh, but he's best known <coughs> he's best known currently in the world for being the first person to calculate the circumference of the Earth. Now he used a very simple experiment in order to calculate the circumference of the Earth, and on this uh, on this Wikipedia page here. <coughs> we can we can see that uh, um, Eratosthenes calculated the circumference of the Earth without leaving uh, Egypt. Eratosthenes knew that at local noon on the summer solstice in the ancient Egyptian city of Sphenet, known in ancient Greek as Syene and now as Aswan, uh, the sun would appear at the zenith, which means that it would be directly overhead. He knew this because he had been told that the shadow of someone looking down a, a deep well in Syene would block the reflection of the sun at noon off the water at the bottom of the well. So using a simple uh, uh, stick or a nonon, um, he measured the sun's angle of elevation at noon on the solstice in Alexandria and found it to be uh, uh, to have an angle of uh, 7 degrees which would work out roughly about 1 50th. Um, uh, blah 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 so he w because of the because of the difference between the sun being overhead and the angle of elevation a, a shadow being cast uh, some distance away um, he was able to calculate using Pythagorean uh, tri tri and trigonometry he was able to calculate the distance between Syene and Alexandria and just double that uh, multiply that by uh, by 50 but the biggest thing about uh, Eratosthenes that I find 
uh, very very perplexing is that uh, if we go down to the page here he goes on the big the big one main assumption he goes on and that is the earth is a sphere now that's just an assumption He's got, he has no uh, evidence or proof that the earth is round uh, you, you know if you're living in uh, Egypt uh, about 200 200 yeah about 200 years before Christ I mean I don't think you can get that much evidence together to to say that the uh, or to indicate that the the earth is actually round so it's just an assumption um, <coughs> now the way I look at things is that uh, the way I look at things is that um, I personally feel that Aristosthenes wasn't out to calculate the circumference of the earth because he may not have even thought that the earth was round I don't know I've never read his books or, or anything like this I mean w what is very uh, interesting is that uh, if you look down the page at Aristosthenes there's a little picture on the right here and it's it's a 19th century reconstruction of Aristosthenes map of the known world now because apparently he was quite into uh, geography and can, uh, Aristosthenes says here for instance for example Aristosthenes continued from his knowledge about the earth his discoveries of its size and shape and began to sketch it in the library of Alexandria he had access to various travel books blah 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 now I'm sure uh, through documentaries that I've watched that uh, the Library of Alexandria had a great big fire or it was destroyed and, and an awful lot of the the uh, the uh, artifacts or the you know books and papers and everything that um, was inside were destroyed hence why we have a 19th century reconstruction so it, a lot of this could be made up you know the reconstruction is obviously made up um, I'm not sure how much information does survive of Aristosthenes but uh, that's so it could well be that he what he he wasn't trying to work out the circumference of the uh, the earth but what he was um, intending to do was calculate the distance the Sun is away from the earth now to me if I'm living in ancient uh, you know Egypt 200 years before Christ um, you know I to me I'd probably think that the earth was flat but I'd want to and I could see the Sun up in the sky and I'd w probably think to myself well let's see if we can calculate the distance away so I personally think that he was out purely just to calculate the distance away the Sun is from the earth rather than the circumference of the the earth, I think um, the I think the facts that we know about Aristosthenes over the years have been hijacked by the scientific community, and uh, um, basically th th a lot of the information has been swayed and skewed just to suit an agenda, and that agenda obviously is the the round earth. But uh, that's just that's just me making uh, making an assumption. I don't really know, you know, I can't say. But anyway, one, if we go, what we're going to do now, <coughs> so if we just recap on Aristosthenes' experiment a little bit. <coughs> now I found this little page here, Aristosthenes' calculation of Earth's circumference, just in case you're unaware of exactly what he did, or if it wasn't clear enough. Um, there was a, in Syene where he was, uh, where he was born, um, we can see from this uh, diagram here that when the sunlight hits the bottom of the well, it's directly overhead. Okay, and then when he was in um, when he was in um, Alexandria, um, he used a he used a nonom or a stick which cast a shadow, so he could obviously tell that there was some kind of uh, disparity between uh, being at Alexandria and being at Syene. So he obviously just measured the uh, the angle of the the shadow that was cast, and uh, he knew the distance between Syene and uh, Alexandria, and 
from those two figures he was able to calculate you know the uh, the circumference of the earth but what is overlooked by uh, even this page here on Wikipedia there's nothing here at all about being able to calculate the distance the Sun is away from the earth if you read it you, you know feel free to uh, peruse all of it there's nothing there at all so what we're going to do is that we are going to use this online calculator okay to be able to uh, try and discover how far away the Sun is from the earth using um, lots of using the uh, how using Aristophanes experiment okay so what uh, so what we've done I've, I've been I've just typed in distance between Syene and Alexandria which is Aswan so and we've got a figure of 1067 kilometers now okay so if we if we bring up uh, uh, oh sorry no this one here so let's get rid of that so 1067 and then we're going to convert it to miles okay that gives us 663.003 blah 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 miles so what we're going to do we're going to go back on to our little, little thing now <coughs> because uh, we can use Pythagorean trigonometry and Pythagorean uh, theory to work out uh, the distance the Sun is from the Earth using Aristosthenes simple experiment now if we look at this triangle here we know let's say that C the point the angle C is where sine is the angle or the point B of the triangle is where Alexandria is and the point A is where the Sun is okay so we know the distance between sine and Alexandria to be let's get back we know it's uh, 1067 kilometers which it works out 60 663 miles so leg a we're going to go as 663 okay now we also know that the shadow cast at uh, the um, at b was seven degrees so if we take seven degrees away from 90 would leave us 83 degrees so angle B is 83 degrees so let's type input that that bit of data now we want to find the side of the triangle B okay so we've, we've uh, I'll check the leg B there so if we calculate that there we go we calculate that. oh look there we go we have a figure we have based on Aristosthenes uh, data and his experiment and uh, the a more accurate uh, measurement of the distance between Syene and uh, Alexandria we get a figure of 5,399.7017 okay so the, 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 the length B so the distance between Syene and the Sun is 5,300 and 99 miles okay now we're currently told through this uh, round earth kind of world we live in that the Sun I've actually got it up here the Sun's distance from the earth is 149 million 600 thousand kilometers now that works out that works out if we go down further down here it's 94.5 million miles now I'm not sure about you but there's it's, it's confusing it's confusing we've used simple mathematics to be able to work out calculate that the Sun from the earth is only 5,399 miles and yet the information we've got for the Sun which is here is 94.5 million miles now to me it's confusing and uh, I'm thinking to myself well something's c certainly something's seriously wrong um, 
personally I probably think that the 94.5 million miles is just totally inaccurate it's just uh, yeah it's just not good at all I, I personally think that uh, 5,000 5,400 miles the sun uh, the distance the sun is away from the earth is pretty good I think it sounds sounds good and that's all done just using Aristotle's calculation but it's surprising that just that simple bit of data that that length the distance from the sun away from the earth is not even being mentioned on this Wikipedia page or um, wh whenever we hear about Aristosthenes like I say uh, at the top here it says he's best known for being the first person to calculate the circumference of the earth but it was only an assumption and perhaps it could well have been the case that he wanted to find the distance the sun was away from the earth and not trying to work out the circumference of the earth for which he had no proof it was round or it was you know it was spherical it just seems it just seems silly so the the flat earth the flat earth idea seems very very interesting i i'm i'm certainly swayed to truly accept it and to ditch a lot of the information that i'm being given by by mainstream um organizations like nasa and even even educational um stuff i mean a lot of it just doesn't make sense just using that simple uh, calculation uh there uh, but what i'd suggest you do you can try it yourself you can uh, you can replicate duplicate this uh, this little uh, calculation if you want to um you can probably yeah if you want to do it there's lots of information out there about flat earth uh, lots of very interesting videos and documentaries and I'd certainly recommend you reading about them and if you want to uh, find out more about Aristosthenes I'm sure there's plenty of information about him um, there and um, you know but nowhere will you find the distance the sun is away from the earth using Aristosthenes method I have to admit that his name is a mouthful don't you think? Why can't people just be called Burr or something simple? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's been very enlightening. Uh, I think it has for me just to discovering this, uh, th th all this stuff. Um, so um, yeah, all the best and uh, take care.